Welcome back to another tutorial everybody. So today, as you guys can see, we're working with some, some liquids and some items. We're, we're looking at the thermal expansion fluid duct and the item duct. And we're just gonna, we're gonna give you a little bit of a basic. Cause maybe, you know, you're having some issues. They can get a little bit of complicated if you're trying to do complicated things. And maybe like, maybe you're like me and you didn't realize everything was whitelisted, so nothing was gonna go through. So today, we're gonna go, we're gonna go through both of these, and we're gonna make sure you don't actually have everything whitelisted, and you're like, oh my god, why is nothing coming through? Why is there no lava going into my tank? Why is there no lava going into my spelter? Why are my items going around anyway? This is your video. Just stay tuned in. We're gonna show you why, and we're gonna help you out a little bit. So. In terms of fluid ducts, all right, basically anything that can be put in a bucket or a tank can be transported with these things. So I got I got a bunch of examples here, some weird ones and some some legit ones. We got a tank here. You can see, boom. And the way this works, all right, to to tell this to go into this, we need to right click on this, and to be able to right click on this, we need pneumatic servos and you have to place it in the end that you want to control so this one doesn't have anything in it because it's just going straight out it doesn't need one but if you want if you want this to go back into this you're gonna have to do this put a servo in there right click it ignore make sure it stays on blacklist and then you're gonna need a wrench one of these crescent wrenches you're gonna you're gonna I believe it's right click yeah it's right click and you're gonna do that and then so right now they're both set out to suck right so this one's wanting to suck out there and this one's wanting to suck out here but if we do this the lava is going back inside and then if we do this see we're at 15,200 it goes straight back up to 16 and that that's pretty much it so all we need we, we definitely need a pneumatic servo no matter what especially if you're trying to do anything of any of these things you're going to need a pneumatic servo for every single duct in the game just to just to tell it you know oh i want to i want to suck the lava out or i want to put the lava back in you're always going to need this and if you don't have any redstone connections you always want to put ignore because what's going to happen here is if we go and we go high it's not going to do anything. I'll, I'll give you guys an example right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to put this one on high, right? There's no redstone connection right now. Boom. Alright, it kind of worked anyways. That's weird. But it it's supposed to be like if you don't have any redstone connection. And you and you make it so it has to only take high nothing will happen and that's the same thing for the item ducks nothing will happen at all so make sure you always either put it on low or ignored so in cases of oh stuff isn't coming through you just give that a little look you're like oh i accidentally put it on high it should be on low or ignored instead or oh i have it whitelisted that's weird Oh no, I have it whitelisted, no way. And this this is what got me because I thought what happened is that you had to click on the whitelist to make it whitelist. I thought it was whitelisted right now, but it's actually whatever icon shows up is what it is. So right now it's blacklisted, it's whitelisted. I, I kind of overthinked it a little bit and I thought it was you had to now it's whitelisted, now it's black. But no, this if the whitelist symbol is on, that means it's whitelisted. If this is on, this means it's blacklisted. It, I, that's something I messed around with, and I, and I figured out, yeah, whatever icon is there, it's not whatever icon you press. So that's pretty much it. And the fluid ducts are really awesome because what you can do is, if you guys watched my unlimited power, uh, tutorial, you'll know that that also generates infinite lava as well. So what you can do is you can put these lava tanks from open blocks around that 
and has infinite lava tanks. And then what you can do is you can use these fluid ducts like this. But instead of this being a regular tank, you can put your smeltery tank there. So you'll have infinite lava. You never have to fill up your smeltery tank ever. It's just n automatic no matter what. And that's how I have it on my Let's Play world that we're, we're kind of going through right now. Uh, as you guys can see, you can use the stabilized redstone. You can use resonant ender. You can even use liquid XP, sludge. Sludge is... Uh, you, there's a, you can make a sludge boiler and it kind of gives you random items from the sludge, water, and even milk. Like, this is the weird one. Like, why would you want to use milk? But it still lets you have anything that could be put in a bucket, you can throw in these tanks, which is amazing. So, and that's pretty much it for the, for the fluid ducts. They're pretty simple because it's just, like, and you can filter it out. I don't know how you would do that. I would assume like you'd put a bucket of lava in there and it filters it out. Put a bucket of XP in there, filters it out, water. And that's only if you put it on whitelist. If it's blacklisted, no matter what you put in here, it doesn't matter. It accepts everything no matter what. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. You just make sure you have your servos in your ends. You can definitely do a lot of cool stuff with these. Like if you have, a, if you have two tanks like this, you can just... It's so it's so cool and so easy, like especially with the smeltery. It's so fun where you can have unlimited um, lava in your smeltery. It's so cool. But um, and here's the here's the the what you call it the the recipe for it. But you can also there's another version where it's lead in the middle. I'm pretty sure it's called the opaque version, and it's easier to make, especially for if you're just beginning. I think this is it. Yeah, so it's just copper, lead, and there's, I think we all know, hardened glass is brutal to make. It's not hard, it's just cancer. It, it's just terrible. But let's move on to the to the item duck. So we got an impulse duck and an item duck. So basically the impulse is just really f more fast than the item duck. And so there's so many things you can do with this. Like, you can do so much stuff, like... Your, your imagination just takes you with this one. So basically, alright. We got stuff in this chest. Put some stuff in this chest, alright? Put some stuff in there. And we got our servo installed. And to install a servo, you just right click. That's it. Installed. So right now what we have, it's not on the, the sucking mode. It's on the receiving mode. So we need to put it on the, on the mode that sends stuff. So we go like this. And look at that. Look look what we just ran into. It wants high. Put it on ignored. Look at that. Boom. We got our tanks going through. And it, they should pop up in here. Look at this. Boom. It's going to stack it for you. And it's huge. It's really huge. And it's really big. And there's so much other things you can do with this. Like, we can we can again... You can do the stacks, right? So if you just want it to take one at a time, say we put, boom. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm trolling. My bad, guys. All right. We just sent those over there by accident. My bad. So say we put 15 of them in there, right? And we go, we right click on here. It says stack size 64. So that means if you have 64 in here, it'll just launch out a 64 stack. But if we if we bring it down to say um let's bring it down to like 5. So this means boom, we're at 5. It's only going to take 5 at a time rather than 64. Basically, the only reason why you're, you're probably thinking like, why wouldn't I just want one, one sixty-four stack going across? And I'm like, hmm. But there's some scenarios where, like, say you're running like an automatic farm or something, and you have so much of something, or an an exceeds amount of something, and you only want to send a little bit everywhere because, or else everything will just overflow. 
that's that's one of those things. You can just set it to two, set it to ten. You can set it from anywhere between one and sixty-four, and it's really nice to to say if you only want to put five over there, or or say you got snowballs in here, and you can't take a sixty-four stack at a time. You can only take sixteen. If you're only having snowballs in here. You can set it to sixteen instead of sixty-four, and it'll be way better. So basically, that's that's like a little basic basic thing with the item ducks and again you got your whitelist you got okay i'm just gonna be honest with you guys these three things like you might as well just not bother with them like or a dictionary use metadata like it, it doesn't really matter these ones it, it's more this one than any of them like make sure you know that when the blacklist, it's blacklist. When the whitelist, it's whitelist. And now it kind of fix your problem of stuff sending or not. But yeah. So, these ones are a little bit different. So, the these guys are smart, right? These guys have got that, that AI intelligence, that big brain stuff. So, watch what happens when we put some of these guys in there. Watch where they go. They're going to this chest right here. Because they know that this is the closest chest to this chest. This is the closest one. So, what up, what happens if this chest, say this chest is at a furnace, and this chest is your is your massive storage unit, all right? But you want it to go to your storage unit. You don't want your tanks to be going to your to your furnace. That's just weird. So you want it to go to this chest, which is your storage. So what we do, we uh, we right click, we turn on the white list, put in our tank there, boom. What we do here, turn on the white list, put our coal or whatever where our furnace goes, and look what happens. Look what happens. It goes straight to our big man that's whitelisted. So, uh, if you guys can imagine the stuff you can actually do with this stuff, like right now in our let's play, we have a we have an automatic wheat farm, all right. But we don't want our wheat to be in in the in the harvester the whole time. This is going to take up unnecessary room. So we need more room for the seeds so they can plant more seeds. So what we have going is, so in that world we got we got one of these pipes that's in the harvester, so it, and it's whitelisted to bring back seeds, only seeds to the planter, so the planter can keep replanting over and over again. And then we got another one of these pipes that leads to a different chest that's connected to our our massive storage unit, and it puts the wheat in there. Or it puts the wheat in the pulverizer, so we can use the pulverized wheat to make food plus mods and stuff like that. So there's so much things you can do with this, and all you need, this is all you need to make it. Boom, boom, boom. Or, you can make these guys, which is just a regular opaque item duct, and you put it in the magma, uh, the fluid transposer, I believe. Probably the fluid transposer, but you guys saw. So you just put it in there, and it's just so much more fast. It, it's really more fast than than these. Like this one's going really slow, but these, actually, you know, I'm not, I'm gonna show you these impulse ones. They go so much faster. I'll give you guys a little demo. See how much faster they go. Give a boom. Gotta put a servo in there. Get it, uh, boom, whitelist, boom. And then we just, boop. Oh no, we gotta put this, see, making mistakes. We gotta put that to like that. We gotta put this like that. We gotta put another servo in there, just like this. Put that on the whitelist, boom. Honestly, we don't have to put this one on the whitelist and just, you just do it to do it. But look how much faster that is. Alright, something went wrong. 
oh, we didn't whitelist this guy. That's what happened. So we, we can't forget. If we whitelist this one, we have to whitelist the closest one as well for something else. Because or else, what you guys just saw, boom, boom. It's going to go to the to the closest test possible or the first off branch that it has. So what we got to do is we got to whitelist it with nothing. Do it again. And it goes straight. Straight. And look how much faster that is. It's just zooming. It's just, it's zooming. So that that's item ducks and that's fluid ducks. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comments. If you guys like the video, I really appreciate it. If you guys hit the like button, make sure you uh, hit the notification bell so you can watch all my tutorials and you can get the, the latest and greatest news on the Attack of the B Team mod with my Let's Play series. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate you guys. See you guys in the next one. Yeah.